Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day today. Well, let's get straight into it. Today we're looking at five super cheap guitar fetish pickups. Now each one of the pickups we're testing today costs about 30 to 40 bucks, which means 60 to 80 bucks for, you know, two pickups, which all things considered, not too bad. Now they all feature Guitar Fetish's quick plug system, which means no soldering. And by the time, you know, you unscrew your pickup rings, loosen your strings, um, you know, put the new pickups in, tighten everything up, probably 10 minutes to swap a set of pickups, which is pretty phenomenal. So we'll show you guys the process, but for now, let's check out the pickups. Now set number one is currently installed in this Xavier guitar. These are the Crunchy PATs. Now affordable pickup set number two are the Surf 90s. I'm pretty eager to see what these will sound like in the Les Paul. I'll give you guys a little bit of a closer shot here. So they've got some adjustable pull pieces there and then some slug pull pieces. Pretty interesting to see what this will sound like. On the back, if you've never seen the Guitar Fetish quick plug system. This is what it looks like. And every pickup comes with, you know, wiring. So all you have to do, plug it in like so, and you're off to the races. Next up, we've got the Vintage Extra Hot. Now I think these will look absolutely excellent with that blue burst finish. Always love me a zebra coil and same exact quick plug system. I've used Sharpie and marked the neck pickup and the bridge pickup just so I don't confuse those because I'm going to be swapping a lot of pickups. So that's pickup set number three. Pickup set number four are the GF Trons. Now, if you guys may notice, the pickup surround is thicker on the Tron pickups because they're not a full-sized humbucker. So very, very cool that you can get, you know, the full-sized humbucker ring on a smaller Tron style pickup. So if you've ever wondered what a Tron style pickup will sound like in a Les Paul, today's your lucky day. And finally to round out our five affordable pickups, we've got the Classic 2s. So there you guys go. These are the pickups we're going to be using in today's comparison. Now the only pickups I've used so far are the Crunchy PATs, so it should be a lot of fun to swap these different pickup sets in and see what it does to this guitar. Now I'm going to swap them in, give you guys my first impressions. At the end, I'm going to do a full comparison. So we'll play a short clean clip in the neck and a short dirty clip in the bridge for each one of these sets so that you guys can hear the difference. All right, without any further ado, let's plug in and check out the crunchy PAFs. I mean PATs. They're not PAFs, they're PATs. Sounds great. Let's try channel two here for a little bit of crunch. So the crunchy PATs, great choice for classic Les Paul tone. Next up, we've got the Surf 90s. Now, before I play them for you, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit what they look like. If you want to give your guitar a little bit of that Gretsch vibe, these Surf 90s look amazing. So let's plug them in and check them out. Wow, crazy amounts of jangle, not something you associate with the Les Paul. Let's try that with some overdrive. 
here we go. Yeah, even though it doesn't quite have the same output as those uh, PATs, uh, the neck pickup's got some growl to it. Really interesting. Try that with the bridge. Yeah, definitely has that, you know, kind of bright, overwound, single coil kind of tone. Very cool pickups. Next up, we've got the Vintage Extra Hot. Now, I had a creeping suspicion I would like the looks of these pickups in this guitar, and I absolutely do. I think these look phenomenal. Now, I'm not sure what Vintage Extra Hot means. When I think of a vintage pickup, I don't think of, you know, a super hot pickup. So anyway, we'll plug them in, see if we can figure it out. Yeah, just to my ear, they sound similar to the crunchy PATs, maybe a little bit more output. Um, yeah, anyway, nice balance, Les Paul. Maybe a little bit fuller and a little bit more sizzle on that bridge pickup. Let's put it on channel two. I think that's where we're gonna, you know, hear the difference. Hopefully it doesn't peak. Oh yeah, that's driving the amp way harder than the, the crunchy PATs. Yeah, so these pickups definitely have a little bit more get up and go than the other set. Um, yeah, they look cool, lots of output. All right, affordable pickup set number four are the GF Trons. And again, I think they look absolutely fantastic in a Les Paul style guitar, but with these pickup rings, they would go into any humbucker equipped guitar. Definitely more Gretsch vibes here. Let's check this thing out. Last but not least, we've got the Classic 2s, which are guitar fetishes take on the Classic Alnico 2 pickup. Again, I think these look fantastic in this guitar. Let's plug it in, see what it sounds like. Really nice, full, kind of classic Les Paul tone. Maybe a touch more sizzle in this neck pickup than, you know, the previous two full humbuckers. Of course, the test is always with a touch of overdrive. Yeah, lots of clarity, just like classic Alne Alnico 2 pickups. Yeah. 
So yeah, that neck pickup still has nice fullness, but a ton of clarity. So there you guys go. All right, you guys, now that we've heard each one of these pickup sets in isolation, let's kind of put them back to back so we can really hear the differences. <laughs> So let me know in the comment section below which set of pickups you liked in our little Les Paul here. I know you guys are always requesting guitar fetish stuff because it does have a pretty good reputation uh, and a ton of different tones. Just depends if you want jangly or punchy or low output, high output. Um, yeah, five really good sets. And if you guys are curious how the Quick Connect system works, uh, I showed it in the demo of this guitar. So you can check that out. Other than that, hope you guys have a great day.